Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to these reviews. I am so sorry that I've been MIA, missing in action. I have been just really busy <laughs> living life, even though I know it's Corona time, but doesn't matter. Now I'm here, I'm back again and I would love to do a review for you. So before I start, I just want to say um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I am seeing every single one of you subscribe and I just want to say thank you. It gives me a lot more confidence because it shows me that you like the reviews that I am doing and yeah, it spurs me on, it keeps me going. So I decided today to do another perfume review because it seems like those are the reviews that you guys enjoy and I don't mind doing them because I own so many perfumes and the perfume that I will be reviewing today is none other than this beautiful perfume by Issey Miyake and the perfume is called um, um, Issey Miyake Lo Duisse Floral. I did French in GCSE and A level so I can't, I can't speak French. Right so this is the beautiful perfume that I'll be reviewing. So first things first, I'm just going to show you the bottle. Don't mind my nail. I'm just going to show you this bottle and I want you to take in how beautiful the design of this bottle is. It's a very simplistic design and as you can see the actual colour of the bottle in itself is like a very very light pink um, which is amazing because it's a female perfume, it's a woman's perfume and I just love the design reflects who the perfume is meant for. So yeah, I'm just going to go into a few things that I noticed about this perfume and hopefully you guys will enjoy this review. If you do, like, comment and subscribe and also turn on that notification button because I have made myself a promise that from now on, moving forward, I am going to be... Um, a lot more consistent with these videos and actually put content out there and not just sit and do nothing so yes guys when you like these videos when you turn on your post notifications that lets me know that you guys want to want to watch a lot more of these videos and it spurs me on so yeah i'm gonna start the review now i've written down my comments on a little card because I can't keep information in my head for a long time so the first things that i want to touch on are the actual bottle itself right so the good thing about this perfume is um it's a 50 ml bottle right i think it comes in 50 and 90 ml which depending on how you use your fragrances is ideal for whoever it is personally i took i um got the 50 ml bottle because i as i said i do own a lot of perfumes and i tend to not finish the bottle so i just felt like there was no point in me purchasing a 90 ml bottle perfume if i wasn't going to finish it or if it was going to take me years to finish using that perfume so i opted to go for the 50 ml bottle um so this perfume was launched, I think, in 2011. Um, it's a very, very beautiful bottle. It's very, very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. Um, and it's appealing to the eye. Like, I just love the simplicity of this um, design, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it just sort of reflects the kind of fragrance that you're going to get when you actually use this perfume so the pink to me signifies um something girly rosy um perfumey which you do get with this perfume like most of the scent that you will get when you do try this perfume is the rose and flowery and floral scents okay um it's a very simplistic design and I think it's the sort of the epitome of Isimiyaki. For those of you who don't know Isimiyaki, Isimiyaki is also a clothes designer, I believe. And I think most of his designs are very simple. Like there's not too much, um, too much detail or anything like that. They're very, very simple, but at the same time, they're very simple and they're elegant. 
um, but at the same time, they're just beautiful. Like there's something about simplicity that I just love. Like you don't have to go over the top. Um, that's what I love about this bottle and this design. That's the lid. That's how the lid looks like. It's just very pretty to put on your shelf. If you do have a perfume shelf, it adds a bit of class to it. Look how elegant this bottle looks. Look how sleek the design is. Just look, feast your eyes on this beauty right here. Okay. So that's just the first impressions of the actual design of the bottle in itself but now i'm going to go into a bit more detail about the actual fragrance and the scents that you get when you do spray it how long it how long it stays on the body and all of that stuff so um first things first the scent that you definitely smell when you spray this is the rosy rosy floral scent that i feel like that's the key the major note the major scent that you will get when you do spray this perfume but um as it dries down as it dries down as you wear it for longer then other scents start creeping up for instance you get the um citrus sort of mandarin and slightly woody notes okay so you don't get those notes immediately that you spray on again depending on how perfume dries on your skin it's going to smell different on you like so for me the first notes that i get are the floral sort of rosy scent but as it dries then i get sort of the citrusy and the slight woody scent or smell whatever you want to call it um that's how it dries on me and the way that i spray this perfume is um this bit on my neck behind my ear on my wrist and I dab I'm not sure if that's the right way of doing it but that's how I've been doing it for years and it works perfectly for me if you have another way of doing it that's fine you go ahead and do it your way but I'm just telling you how I spray this perfume and I also tend to spray it all over myself so I just spray a cloud of the perfume I walk into it I walk back out of it and I make sure that it goes all over me that's how I love to spray it okay um so now that I've spoken about the actual scent, I'm going to go into the pros of this perfume, okay? So the pro, the first pro, like the biggest pro for me is the actual price point, okay? So the cost of this perfume ranges from about 20 to, um, I think, 20 to 35 pounds, I think. It's 35 pounds for the 90 ml. And when I got this, it was 30 pounds for the 50 ml. And I got this a while ago, okay? So the price point of this perfume is that it's a very um, affordable perfume, okay? It's also an eau du toilette. So it's not an eau du parfum. So the difference between the eau du toilette and an eau du parfum is um, eau du toilette, I feel like it's diluted. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 100% perfume okay I feel like that's why the price is sort of more affordable if it was an eau de parfum then you'd be paying a lot more money because it's mainly the actual perfume scent does that make sense okay <laughs> let me know if it does it okay it can be purchased from like different um stores because it's easily accessible you can get it online um in the uk you can get it from we've got loads of perfume stores in the uk you can get it from all of those perfume stores um for instance i can't think of one at the top of my head right now i think boots might do it um we've got another store called beauty base we've got another store here um called um i forgot what it is but it's specifically um for perfumes i'll put the the actual store here somewhere when i remember what it is and then you guys will be able to know where you can purchase these perfumes from um and not just that like if you can't be bothered to go into a shop there's always online but the only dangerous thing about purchasing perfumes online is because you can't physically smell it you don't know how it smells and when you do smell it when you do order it online you receive it and you want to test it you spray it on yourself, you don't like it, you cannot return it to the store because guess what, you've opened the box. So I just tend to go into the store, smell whatever perfumes I'm interested in, and then go back home and order it online. I do price comparisons and see which site sells the perfume the cheapest. That's how I tend to do it. Or just invest in a tester. Just buy a tester, buy a ML tester. 
that's I don't know five pounds two pounds whatever it is if you don't like it cool if you do like it then you can buy it so it saves you wasting your hard earned money especially during this corona pandemic okay so that's just my advice for you guys if you want to do it your way that's cool I don't really really mind <laughs> yeah so um another pro about this is like it's a very clean and fresh fragrance and I know I say this a lot in my reviews and I kind of think those are the, the scents that I gravitate towards the clean and the um fresh scents you know the ones that are not overpowering the ones that you can wear in an office environment and people don't feel like oh my gosh that that perfume is too much you know sometimes you have to be subtle but still smell nice okay and this perfume definitely does that for me okay it's subtle but it still smells nice you still smell good you smell clean you smell fresh you smell rosy you smell flowery and it i don't know it makes me smile when i spray the perfume on it makes me smile it makes me feel good <laughs> that's basically that's basically it but it's also dependent on you and your palette and what you like um i like woody scents as well but i don't tend to wear those in the office because they tend to be overpowering and not everybody likes smelling perfume unfortunately so yeah we need to be considerate guys so that's another pro for this it's a very clean and fresh and subtle scent okay and i feel like if you want to build more on the scent you can layer it on which is a good thing about it so you can just spray bits of it if you feel like it's enough during the day you can always top up um um you can always top up whereas if you've got a very strong perfume once you spray it that's it it's with you constantly during the day and you can get a headache but what i like about this is you can spray it and then top up during the day and it doesn't affect anybody negatively okay in fact you'll even be getting compliments from this perfume if you use it trust me <laughs> um it's also ideal for summer but i don't follow those rules personally i wear perfume when i want to wear perfume okay you cannot tell me well, after I spent my hard-earned money that no, you can just wear this perfume in summer or winter or autumn or spring. Hell no. I will wear the perfume when I want to wear the perfume because I spent my hard-earned money on that perfume and I want to smell good. When I spray perfume, it's normally depending on how I feel. That's why I've got different types of scents because I feel different, okay? I'm not the type of person who could just have one signature scent. I can't do that because I get bored very, very easily. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll spray it whenever I want to spray it, okay? If I feel like spraying it today in the winter, it could be the coldest day of December. I'll spray it, okay? If, if it's the hottest, I'll spray it. That's another thing. It's good. It's very versatile like that. That's another good thing about this perfume. So, um, it can be, well, it can be, you can even wear this in closed and confined spaces and it's not going to be too overpowering so this touches on to the other comment that i made about you know when you're in an office environment and some people don't have certain etiquette in the office if you know what i'm saying okay they don't understand that not everybody wants to smell your strong perfume okay not everybody wants to be overpowered by some scent that they they don't want to be overpowered by people don't understand that but this one you can spray it it's fine you can use it in closed confined spaces in fact you'll be getting compliments from this perfume it's very subtle it's very sexy it's very feminine that's what i love about it okay so those are the pros i know i've spoken a lot but i'm just trying to be as honest and as thorough as possible so now we're going to get into the pro uh, the, the, the cons of the, the biggest con for me of this perfume is the fact that it's not long lasting and I can say it's not long lasting because I have made it a point to wear it religiously this past week. OK, just to see how long does it last, because sometimes you do forget when you're wearing perfume. OK, so I've done that now and I've noticed that after about two hours, if I just spray it on my skin, I can hardly smell it. Even if I sniff it on my wrist or whatever it is, I can hardly smell it, which I don't know it can be a good or a bad thing but for me it's a bad thing because um even though you can top up as much as you want i would love for the fragrance to linger on a bit more 
just if you see what I'm saying. Um, I don't know whether it's the way it dries on my skin or whether it's the fact that my uh, brain just gets used to the smell and doesn't recognize it anymore. Either way, it's not as long lasting as I would like it to be, okay? Um, but what I realized, even though this is a con, I, I guess it's a con and a pro, it depends on how you take it. But if you spray this perfume on your clothes or on your hair or wherever it is, it does last long like you can smell it the next morning on your clothes so my suggestion would be if you don't if, if, if you don't mind ruining your clothes and you want to have this smell on you throughout the day or whatever it is you can spray it on um, discrete parts on your clothes like say I'm wearing this jumper right here I mean I could spray it um, right here or just because it's black I can spray it everywhere and trust me this smell will linger until tomorrow i'll still be smelling it on these clothes until i wash it off um so yeah that those are the only cons that i have about this fragrance apart from that it just smells so nice and fresh so citrusy so clean i don't know what else to say but yeah thank you guys for watching my review of this isimiyaki beautiful fragrance if you do like this video please like comment and subscribe and also turn on your notification bells um i'll try to be reviewing a perfume every single week um depending on how my bank account is set up um and i might move into the more sort of luxurious kind of perfumes like investments per se the ones that last you five years i might do that as well depending on how everything goes so thank you guys for watching my video I appreciate all of you um, that take the time to watch these videos and let me know if you've got any suggestions on how I can do better or what you liked about these videos and I'll be sure to take on all your suggestions because I just I just love I just love positive feedback or even negative feedback I don't really mind if you like you like if you don't like you don't like so thank you guys so much for watching my video I really really appreciate it Thank you. Take care. Bye.